Welcome to Dr. Chester Runs, and I'm gonna run to Bows. Well, before I go, do you like the new camera position? Is it sexy? Hmm. Let's see if I can. There you go. Do I sound better? So, what do you think? Do I look sexy? It's important for me to look sexy. Right! Right, I'm gonna rant about retarded nonsense. So, from Bounding to Comics, CD Projekt Red announces The Witcher Remake, says it will be a modern reimagining. But before I go on, I like to highlight my book. Check it out on Amazon. It's very important that you do. It's not woke. Definitely very good. Oh, I might be biased a little bit on that one, but... Uh, this is the printed edition. It has extra drawings, as you can see over here. But the ebook version, you all get this type of drawings as well. So check it out. It's not woke. Brotherhood of the Revenants. The link is down in the description of the video down below. Check it out. Right. From Bounty to Comics. Ah, fuck me. The CD Projekt Red has announced a remake of the fifth entry of the Witcher series, boasting the upcoming title as a modern reimagining of the original, and revealing that it will be built from the ground up. So basically what you're gonna get is... Um, a lot of woke nonsense. You know the code word for modern reimagining? It usually means it's going to suck so goddamn fucking bad that you're gonna start questioning if your sanity has left you. It's going to be so woke, so woke, that even probably... You know that woman that screamed... Ah! When a certain Tangerine Man won? Yeah, I think she would even probably find it weird if she actually gained. I'm starting to think that maybe the Witcher, it's not gonna be Geralt anymore. Probably be Geraldina, the black transgender Witcher, Jennifer. <laughs> that one is a goner. She is definitely not going to exist anymore. Hey, hey, I, I'm I don't know for sure, but. Uh, Knowing the woke and the words modern reimagining, there's a very high chance that she's a goner. Or at least what you know for her of her and uh, her looks. She's probably going to be a full Ebonex one. Black full of Ebonex with a very big fluffy hair and sassy. Don't forget sassy. Right, let's go. This revealed in the developer's strategy update earlier this month under the codename Canis Majority's Day, which a remake promises to be a modern reimagining of the 2007 game as part of the 15th anniversary. Mother goddamn fucking fucker! Boosting a ground up, ground up remake with Unreal 5 engine technology, the game will also use the same toolset CD Projekt that Red will employ for the new Witcher trilogy announced earlier this year. Well, you idiots could actually try to fix Cyberpunk 2077, right? First and foremost, but now, <clears throat> let's go and make a new trilogy with woke garbage. Currently, the remake is only in its early stage of development. Under Fool's Theory, a third-party game developer had previously supported development of Outriders, so Riders, Outriders, Baldur's Gate 3, Divinity Original Sin 2, Scene 2 and their own game 7. Yeah, it's going to go woke. They actually de supported development, that means they actually created assets for them. The Witcher is where uh, it all started for us. I uh, don't care. The fifth was, uh, it was the first game we ever made. It was a big moment for us going back to this place and remaking the game for the next generation of gamers to experience it feels just as big if not bigger. Okay, at least we have the original still to play. Obviously the combat is a bit clunky and not as stable because I just had crashes on that goddamn fucking thing. 
while trying to play on white screen, but still, still, uh, we still have the original, and it's not going, and it's never going to be woke, unless obviously some retarded mother tries to make it woke. But don't worry, don't worry. On the Witcher remake, you're gonna get rainbow flags as well in the middle of a European Middle Ages setting. Because if you don't, you're a bigot. Right? And Fool's Theory. You're gonna see how Fool's Theory it is. It's going to be a bigot if they don't. Baldowski explains collaborating with Fool's Theory on the project is just as exciting as some of the people who have been previously involved in the Witcher games. I don't care. They know the source material well, they know how much gamers have been looking forward for seeing the remake happen, and they know how to make incredible, ambitious games. Uh, games didn't they just make one? I'm pretty sure Fool's Theory is uh, made seven, was it? Because I'm pretty relatively sure they only made that game, so games, why do you say games when it's a game? And where are they based on? Well... Right now, we have on their website a big splashy flashy thingy, says The Witcher Remake. New game from Full Series, a bit codenamed Vitriol. Right, so they have two games. Seven Baldur's Great Outriders, Project Vitriol. Let's see, is this. We are happy to announce that our RPG project, based on a new IP, they're going to be targeted. Okay, so they only made one game so far. So. I. Eh, it wasn't quite honest, because they made a seven, seven game. Let's see, still loading, don't worry, the internet is shitty. Uh, by now, seven delay on, ah, it's a top-down game, so, eh, but don't worry, it's gonna go, sure. Because when you get the word modern reimagining, there's only one solution, one outcome, and that outcome is forever going to be wokeness. Have you ever seen uh, something released uh, recently with the word modern reimagining that hasn't gone woke and ruined the IP? Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I think that's the t uh, time enough, right? Have you seen it? No, I don't ever remember seeing anything that is not. So in that case, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night.